What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. As you guys can tell, you guys see this car right here. And you guys see this boat right here. So let me get this video started today, guys. First thing that I would like to say is I am sorry about the late upload. I, <clears throat> I'm going to be real with you guys right now. I was up till like 3 or 4 in the morning doing this stupid stuff for one of my classes. And I was just exhausted. I was like, alright, I'm going to wake up like at 6.30, 7 o'clock to finish my video because if I was going to make a video today it was going to be an epic video because the past like three four or five videos I've posted have been like absolute just amazing videos if you guys haven't checked them out guys I don't know what you're doing you need to go check them out also if you guys haven't checked out the 365 video that is like the best video I've ever posted very motivational if you guys want to check that one out please do like seriously that was a lot of time and effort putting that video and uh it's definitely the best video i've ever posted and you guys are tearing it up you know on social media instagram whole deal you guys are just killing it like i was saying i was working on homework like all night guys seriously it's, it's been late it's just been crazy so i was gonna wake up early i literally couldn't make it guys so that's why i'm making a video now and uh now i'm gonna be doing a little different type of video today so let me explain a little bit of what's been going on so as you can tell, the boat's kind of crooked in the, in the driveway. I got my truck and this car right here, which I've actually been driving all week long, which is not my car, but I, I, this has literally been my ride since last Monday. I've been driving this thing around. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, my driveway is pretty packed right now. I just got my car. Um, I had to get dropped off and grab that. And uh, now I'm about to go get some stuff done. I got to get this video done because this is a priority. Boat's been sitting in my driveway for a little bit now. I've been going out on the river And I kind of want to show you guys what I have in this box because I just got this very excited And I do want to talk about some of the stuff in this box because this stuff is absolute fire guys This stuff right here is it's just been killing it for me lately. So let's let's go ahead and talk about that so As you guys can tell I got a lot of stuff in this box right here first off. I got a little note So it says good luck in the tournament Thanks for all you do. This is from John from Fishhead. John, if you guys, if you guys, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Seriously, this stuff right here, guys, this is a lot of money's worth of baits. I couldn't thank them enough for sending me this, and they're definitely going to be put to good use. Let me show you what I pretty much have in here. So, the baits that I have in here, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the new Primal series by Fishhead Spin. Okay. I got some standard fish head spins in there. As you guys know, like one of my favorite baits of all time is a fish head spin. I've absolutely killed it. My best day on the water ever where I caught like almost 100 fish was on that bait right there. Absolutely killed it. There's a, there's a video back like three or four years ago. You guys can go find it if you guys want to. It's like an 85 catch, fish catch video. It's a killer video, by the way. But let me talk about this bait right here. So what we have is we have, let me let me grab my sheet. So this is, this is, this is what I got. I got 20... Fish head spins. Um, I got 10 buzz baits, the primal buzz. I got 10 pearl white primal spins, which is the uh, pearl white spinner baits. Um, I got chartreuse white primal spins, and then I got chartreuse, uh, which are 10 of those. And I got 10 more chartreuse white primal spins, but they're actually in Colorado blades. So let me let me pull out like one of each, and I can talk about them real quick. First off, the bait that I've actually been just smashing them on, guys. This is the one that I've been, like, seriously using. This is, like, my overall favorite. It's just a standard Willow Blade um, white and chartreuse spinner bait. If you guys haven't seen my, per I actually caught my personal best, like, a week and a half ago. And this is actually the bait that I caught them on. Guys, I've been killing it on this bait. I actually have not thrown their Prim Primal Series as much until this past week. And, guys, I have been killing them. Like, I caught... 100 fish on this same exact spinner bait because I only had two of them. I caught 100 fish on the same spinner bait in three to four, I think it was four days. I caught 100 fish. It, it was crazy, guys. And then I continued to catch, keep catching fish on them. Let me show you what else. And then you have this standard white um, pearl with the willow. You got the primal buzz, which is um, in black. Then you got the white and chartreuse of Colorado blade. Now this bait right here, I actually had a tournament this past weekend. If you guys are on my Instagram, if you guys aren't, go follow me on my Instagram. I kick in their bass TV. Be sure to go give me a follow. I, get, I mean, every single day I'm posting updates, pictures, videos, whole shazam on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you need to go do that now. But I've been killing them on this bait as well. And I just want to share this with you guys because 
there's there's something unique about all these baits. So you have their spinner bait right here, and you also have their buzz bait right here. Well, if you're looking at them, they're not just regular spinner baits and buzz baits. As you can tell, Fish Head Spin kind of brands herself by the little spinner under the bait. All right, Fish Head's brand is Fish Head. Fish Head, as simple as that. And the Fish Head Spin is pretty much just a standard um, chat imitation of a bait with a little spinner underneath. So as you can tell, it's a standard spinner bait with a spinner underneath. Standard buzz bait with a spinner underneath. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 100% honest. Two weeks ago, like I said, I've never used these baits. Took them out on the river. I didn't think this was gonna make much of a difference, and I swear it makes a difference because I have literally, guys, I've caught more fish on this spinner bait than I've ever caught. Like, I haven't caught, I've caught more fish on this spinner bait in the past two weeks than I have on a spinner bait in the whole time I've been fishing. Like, they, I don't know what, what about it? And the crazy thing is, like, I deal with, like, spinner bait conditions is, you know, high winds, um, as you can tell today. Um, and some clouds in the sky. When I was catching them on the spinnerbait, it was like bluebird skies and it was like no wind at all. Like it was just straight like ice, the water was for the most part. And they were just killing it guys. And I, I could not figure out why. I was even slow rolling it and they were just, God, they were killing it. I, I just, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I have a new bomb video coming out over the 10 pound day and that one's gonna be coming out soon. That's gonna be a really good video. I'm going to be packed full of catches. Also throw some tips in there about fishing a spinnerbait in general. And it is just killer, guys. But be sure to go check out those videos. I want to do this little unboxing. But big shout out to John from Fish Head for hooking me up fat. And I'm just showing you, I'm just being 100% real about my experiences on the past couple of weeks on these baits. Because I'm not going to hide any secrets from you guys. You know, I want to tell you what I'm doing. It's 100% real. That's how I've always been. And I've absolutely been smacking them on that bait lately. Um, if you ever get a chance to try one out, I highly suggest it and um, take that to the body of water that you're fishing and see if you're gonna go whack some fish on it. Moving on to the other part of my video. As you can tell, this is my bad boy right here. I haven't had this guy in a week, guys. Seriously, I've, I've been, like I said, I've been driving that, <laughs> that around for a week. I have not had my truck. Chance was having to help me tow my boat when I was going on the river. And, uh, I gotta put that cab back on on each side. So I, I had a little bit of problems come up when I was uh, driving this thing around. So one day last week, I believe it was Monday, I was driving and all of a sudden like stuff started to get a little bit bumpy on the highway. Well, things started to get a little bit bumpy and I, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy. It was like everything was just a slightly more bumpy than usual. I, I couldn't really tell. Like I just got out of a meeting, it was early in the morning and everything just seemed slightly a little bit it, it wasn't riding the same and i was like all right maybe i like hit a pothole or something or maybe possibly one of my tires going flat so i was like checking my tires and i'm like okay i'm fine well i started to drive towards my house and i just felt a, a crazy shake like i had a cup in my cup holder and it was just shaking like crazy so i was like all right there's something wrong so like at that point i pulled off right on the uh not the highway but on the street and i got out and i couldn't see anything wrong i was looking around i was like all right there's something wrong well there's a tire shop a little bit further up well what had happened was ended up taking out one of these caps right here and i had pretty much all my lug nuts were broke except for one that was barely holding on so pretty much i had to get that fixed my whole hub was messed up as well so i did get the tire shop to order the new hub this was going into my tournament weekend so i really didn't have time to um get get my lug nuts i had to wait until monday which was yesterday to get those so i ran over to a place by my house they ended up having them i bought a whole new set um i took them up to the tire shop and they got that all finalized and fixed but guys i spent a good bit of money this past week on this bad boy and there's a reason why i'm really regretting spending that much money on this thing and that's coming soon there's there's some big things coming soon guys that i'm excited to show you and excited to tell you because guys it's it's gonna be legit you guys are gonna be freaking out it's gonna be awesome but guys overall i just want to film a little vlog and get this video out to you guys because when you guys are watching this is pretty much when i was filming this because like i said i had a rough night last night on homework and I just could not wake up this morning and my body wouldn't let me. But overall, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the videos, be sure to smash the like button. This is also a good video just to get and interact with you guys because I feel as if I really don't get to interact with you guys as much anymore. It's like all the videos I'm posting are like fishing video, fishing video, fishing video. And when I'm posting a fishing video, it's literally like 
it, it's just me fishing. So <laughs> I'm not really getting to talk, but overall guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash the like button, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. When I'm driving, I'm walking in the sky with some shooters. We jump inside of the Buick. You duck a half in the Rugas, a couple choppers, acoustic, and a guitar when the music is. I'm alive and I use it. It's stuck inside of the cuties. I never lie, but the truth is I'm fing tired of these losers. And all my life, want the food when it's summertime time in the juice. But I'd rather die than the losers. I'm out of time for I lose it and strategize with the movement. Walk in the trap like a boss. Oh, how you know I'm dripping with the sauce? Oh, pretty.